Floyd County police are investigating the brutal killing of a Longhorn. They say the details of the case are unbelievable and sickening. We're told someone shot the three and a half year old steer, decapitated it, and then took its head. Fox Vice Patty Pan spoke to the owner of the animal who says he's trying to understand how anyone could do this. The owner, Justin Silver, tells us that the Longhorn steer that they named Little Red was like part of the family. He says they're not necessarily looking to punish anyone. They want to know why. As for police, they want to make sure this person doesn't do it again. I'd just like to get a hold of them, talk some sense into them, you know, see why would you do something like this and what, what, what in your life has made you this way and what can we do to make you better? You know, what, how can we get you where you need to be? Because this is not the way to live in society. Justin Silver has a strong message for the person or people responsible for shooting and beheading his beloved Longhorn steer, the one they called Little Red. The three and a half year old cow had routinely roamed freely in a 15 acre plot of land on Chileo Road. Earlier this week, the caretaker found the brutal scene. Little Red dead, her head decapitated and now missing. Almost like a, having a, a, a dog for a pet, you know, they get to be used to you, you get to be used to them, they know your tendencies, they know, you know, grab them by the horn and mess with them a little bit, rub their nose, take them. I have I got a red bucket, we feed sweet feed to them, you know, they know the red bucket. If you got the red bucket, then it's, it's happy time. Floyd County Police say they believe someone first shot the animal and then beheaded it, possibly taking it as a trophy. And you know, I was talking to another friend, I think you can get a set of these horns for Sometimes as little as $100 online on eBay if you to buy them. Why would you murder something for a $100 set of horns? Just senseless ignorance. Done it this time. They might have done it before and are willing to do it again. We're told once caught, the person will be charged with criminal damage to property and animal cruelty. Anyone with any information being urged to call authorities. Reporting in Floyd County tonight, I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News. A bizarre rest.